Hi guys, it's me Andrea and today I will show you a very quick project. You know I have these um, skins always when I made a pouring and, and had this leftover pours or, or the other medium um, I used it and, and I pour it on my craft mat. It doesn't stick to it so and I keep it. And that's quite beautiful. I really like the skins and I really like to work with them. I do I work quite often with them on cards, for example. And today I wanted to make a card for someone, a birthday card. I just show you here what I still have. What yeah, I can choose from when I need something. And today I will use the turquoise and violets, and that's one I cut into half already. And I will use that. I cut them into half. There too, I use that with the drops on it. Oh, that's there's the little bits that are dropping from this pouring right and left, you know, this drippage, and I keep it. So I will use this middle part here. I'm uh, making an A5 card, so I need quite a, a big uh, a piece. And uh, first, I of course line it up here to have a straight line and uh, cut out the nice bit. And I, this is actually, you know, when you have a skin like that, I'm, most of the times I'm not using the whole skin. It's it's something uh, special today, but normally I use parts of it. I, you can say I collage it somehow, you know, making little sceneries with it. And uh, that's, um, it's really nice, especially this, this drippage I have. You, sometimes they're in a shape I, I get that gets me an idea, you know, shaped like a little tree or shaped like a little flower or so. But this time I use a whole sheet here and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm not doing quite a lot to it. That's why it is a really quick video. And I cut it already or I edited this... Um, um, if I would edit it in the same way I did uh, all my others, that would be only two minutes or three. <laughs> I don't know. So you get a bit of longer talking. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> so what I do here, I matte it on black and I won't do any more because I think the foreground speaks for itself. You know, I don't want to spoil it with too much or to many other colors in, in the background. And um, only a tiny black f uh, uh, frame or a black edge here. And that's it. So this is um, craft foam. And what I will do, I will mat that on white cardstock to um, get more dimension. I put, I glue it onto the craft foam and I cut off the overhanging pieces there and I will lay that down on my base and on top of that I will put my focal point and it lifts everything so much more and um, give it much more dimension but without any other color without any distraction you know so and on top of that of course I won't leave the card like this but I don't want to overdo it so I have this um, die with this let's have some holtz die I think and uh, a little flower nothing nothing special really but it was in white I die cut it in white and I didn't like it in white so what I do here I use this uh, Maya gold in silver and go over this little plants and um, the lettuce will be a German word I'm using but first I um, let that all dry and then it will go on to the card very minimalistic you know that's exactly what the card needs not a lot but this tiny little thing and in the silver I think the silver is perfect on that violet so I will use three of these flowers it's again this odd number yeah, so and next to it I will build up the word and the word is the German word Stärke and that means actually strength 
um, I will send this card. It will be a birthday card for someone who could do with a bit more strength at the moment. So that's what I'm sending her. Strength. So, yeah, that's my idea behind it. Of course, the German word Stärke is not that nice to pronounce like um, strength. But now you can pronounce it hard or softer, of course. Stärke or Stärke. That's the thing with the German language, you know, it can sound a bit harsh, but no, depends on how you speak. So, um, it has, of course, this umlaut, we call umlaut, with the dots on the on the uh, letter A and U and O. Uh, so, it's A and Ö and Ü. And that's it. You will see the close-up already. And uh, even though it was very short, I hope you liked it and liked the result. And if so, that would be so fantastic if you would give me a thumbs up or leave a comment or both even. And if you want to share the video, go and do it. It would be absolutely fantastic. And I would be so thankful. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I will see you soon again and have a fantastic time. Bye-bye.